Now, first alert weather. The Coachella Valley has a little bit of a history for some dramatic weather on Valentine's Day. Now, yesterday wasn't quite that bad when you compare it to, oh, say, 2019. But we did see some passing showers and we saw some strong gusty winds. But now we're clearing everything out. Those clear skies, though, are going to play a role in how things develop over the next couple of days. Clear skies plus just a little bit of extra wind resulting in a freeze warning for areas just west of us. Now, this does not include the Coachella Valley. It includes neighboring areas areas like Hemet and Paris, but that being said, everyone's going to be experiencing some extra chilly temperatures. So of course, sensitive plants, important to keep in mind, you want to bring those inside as well as of course your pets. Now I expect that we are going to continue to be working with some of these cool temperatures over the next couple of days, so keep that in mind before bedtime as we head into the rest of this week. Taking a look at what we can expect just for today, temperatures starting out in the 30s, 40s, eventually making it up into the lower end of the 60s for our daytime highs. This is well below normal for this time of year. Our temperatures will eventually recover, but it is going to take a little bit more time until we get there. In the meantime, Again, clear skies plus a little bit of extra wind playing a role in things. By this afternoon, looking at wind speeds on the valley's floor sustained between 10 to 20 miles per hour. But notice that direction. They're coming down from the north. They have switched directions on us as that area of low pressure has moved out farther to the east. And that is resulting in some cooler northerly air that is dry. And drier air cools a lot quicker than moist air hence why we're going to continue to see some cool temperatures over the next couple of days. By our Wednesday early evening, winds get a little bit lighter, but we do continue to see them throughout the evening hours, and they'll likely be picking up just staying a little bit breezy into our Thursday as well. So we've got dry conditions, we've got cool conditions, and we're still working with a bit of that wind as we look ahead at least toward your Wednesday and Thursday. But if you look ahead on your first alert comfort air seven day forecast, we do have some changes to look forward to. Temperatures are eventually going to be making it back toward the 70s, which is really where we should be for this time of year. But that doesn't look to happen until we make it to the end of the weekend and into the start of next week. Overnight lows also recovering a little bit. While we are going to be continuing to see temperatures hanging out in the 30s and 40s, we'll eventually make it back up to the mid to upper 40s as we look ahead once again to the end of the weekend and into the start of next week. While today we'll have nice clear skies, more cloud cover to come as we look ahead toward the weekend, we are going to also be looking at another opportunity for some stronger winds. So that's what we'll be tracking in the days to come. But for now, just make sure you bundle up, especially during those early morning hours and the late evenings.